Hi, this is Alex Designman. So I had someone recently telling me that uh, they don't like Katia V5 because uh, you cannot create patterns in uh, the sketcher mode like you can do in other CAD softwares. And of course that's not true. You can create patterns in the sketcher in Katia V5. It's just the command, it's not called patterns. So here I have this solid. So I'm building here a connector, an electrical connector made out of plastic. And I need to create here all the holes where the pins for this connector will go. And I can create a hole and use the pattern command from a part design. But this time I'm going to use just one pocket command and one sketch to do all those pins. So let's create a sketch on this plane here. And the first thing that you do when you do a pattern is that you have to make a plan. You have to see how you are going to create that. So this connector it's 95 millimeters long and one pin hole is going to be 5 millimeters so i'm going to create nine pin holes here nine by five it's 45 millimeters and the holes between them they are going to have five millimeters from edge to edge of the circle so first i'm going to constrain this circle to the edge of the connector here and this is going to be five millimeters and I'm also going to constrain this to the center here, from the center of the circle, because this is the dimension that I want to use. I'm going to do this 12 for now. And then for the pattern command, I'm going to need like a line from the center of the circle going outside. And for that, I just used the axis because I don't want this to appear in the pocket. And this line is going to have the length of two circles one next to each other so it's going to be 10 millimeters and now to create the pattern i'm going to use the command translate and this can be found on the transformation toolbar and first before i click the command i'm just going to select the circle that uh, i want to use click the command and in here i'm going to check duplicate mode i'm also going to check keep internal constraints because i want to keep i want each circle to have the diameter already so i don't have to add it but i'm not going to check keep external constraints because there is a different and better way to do that and i'm going to show you immediately after and here the number of instances is going to be eight because i already have one so eight plus one is going to be nine and with this command active first i'm going to go here in the center of the circle and click once and here where i have length i want the step mode to be unchecked so i don't want this to be checked otherwise it's going to be confusing so uncheck this if you have it checked because with the second click i'm going to go at the end of this line that i just created and i'm going to click there so now you see we have a pattern of all those circles they all have diameters and next from here i'm going to select all of those circles so i'm interested to select the geometry not uh, anything else and here I'm going to go to the auto constraint command. I see here elements to be constrained, nine circles. And for reference elements, I'm going to choose the vertical axis and also the horizontal axis. You can see here that there are both selected. If you click this uh, arrow here, I don't have any symmetry lines and the constraint mode. I want this to be stacked. Click OK. So now I see all my circles are constrained. And stacked means that I'm going to have a dimension from the center to each circle. So it's not going to be dimensions between the circles. You can do between you can do between the circles if you want. In this case, it really doesn't matter how we do it. It just matters that we do it. And the software has also added coincidence constraint to keep all the circles at the same line. And next, I'm going to select the circles again. Click on the mirror command. Click on the horizontal axis and I'm going to have those circles on the bottom. If those are too far away from each other, I'm just going to work on this constraint. I'm going to try 10 or depends whatever constraint you have on the drawing of uh, your part or of your connector. And of course, you can also do circular patterns. For example, in here, I have this circle. I have here this other circle and I want to pattern circles around this circle i have here an axis which represents 
this dimension between those two circles and I added here a second axis and I'm going to add the same dimension and I'm also going to add the angle that I want between those circles so let's do 35 now everything is constrained this is the circle that I want to multiply I'm going to click on it and I'm going to use the rotate command from the same toolbar here I have to write how many instances I want so I'm going to leave this five duplicate mode means we're doing like a pattern and keep constraints means that we are going to also multiply the constraints so first you see the message on the left bottom side in Katia v5 it says select or click the rotation center point so this is the rotation center point we're going to select this and the next message is select or click a point to define a reference line for angle so we already created those and it's going to be this one where the circle where the circle that we want to multiply is click here and now when i move i already see the circles and i'm going to click next in this point that i already defined but before i do that you want to make sure that one click this step mode because there is a minimum step here so if your distance is smaller and it's under that step it's not going to let you to create those and it's going to be confusing so just unclick this because you don't need it i click here and here i have all the circles so to create the constraints here it's a little more different than uh, on this side you basically need to have that line for each circle so what we can do is we can add those lines it depends how well you want to constrain this sketch for the future and i want to check this line you see this is not constrained with the original line there's no problem i'm going to delete the line and add a new one so now we want to select the circles auto constraint reference elements let's select those lines And let's leave the constraint mode to chained and when we click ok we can see here that we have angles everywhere but instead of the length of the line the software added this distance between those circles that we don't really need this is not how it's done so what we can do here is to add dimension to those lines before you do the auto constraint or you can leave them like this if it doesn't matter or we can delete them double click and we can add those lengths for each line and if i have any missing angles i can also add those and this is how you create patterns in sketcher mode as you can see it's not more difficult than uh, in a part design the only difference is that you need to add those constraints after that or before or you can use auto constraint it doesn't matter it depends what you want to do so i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one